everybody, I'm Katie Evans with the Living 48 Real Estate Team. I am super excited to have you guys back for another one of our monthly market updates. So we are, can you believe it? Halfway through the year, <laughs> we're in June already. I can't even hardly stand it. It's just seemed like the month has flown by or the whole year has flown by actually. So let's do a really quick recap of our numbers, what we saw in May, what we're seeing going into June, and let's discuss just a few things about it. All right, let me pull to one side here. So as you can see, our supply numbers are really holding steady right about that half a month worth of supply. So that number really didn't change between last month and this month. Our inventory numbers have gone up, but hey, don't get too excited about that. <laughs> that was by like one number from last month, if you'll remember. So our inventory is staying on the market for about 16 days right now, but again, don't get excited. That's not like a huge change. Our active days on market continue to go down. Uh, we're at 50 days on market for our actives and for our clothes, it's going down even faster. Right now, things are closing. The ones that are priced right, the ones that are in a really great area, uh, those are closing in about 28 days right now. So this really right here is going to tell you the speed of the market. And uh, we've talked about that in the past, but how quickly our market is moving right now. So as you're kind of trying to plan for the future and you're thinking, well, we need to move about such and such a month. This is kind of what you want to be looking at right now. Uh, if we list your house, we're probably going to have you out of it in about 30 days. All right, so that's just some good information for you right there. All right, let me step over to the other side and let's talk about what's on this side. So typically on this side, we're looking at reds and on this side, we're looking at greens. Um, but that's kind of how it continues to play out. Active price per square foot right now is averaging right about $315.98 per square foot. Sold, again, look at the disparity between the two. Um, the solds are selling for about $248.46 a square foot. These numbers are high, guys, uh, or higher, I shouldn't say high, but they're higher and they continue to climb. So just keep this in mind. So if you're one of those people in the past who's like, oh my gosh, it's $100 a square foot. Uh, average, this is what we're going for right now in our solds. So just remember that as prices continue to go up, obviously so does the price per square foot. And don't let those numbers throw you too much. Talk to your agent about what that means to you and uh, if it's appropriate for the area, what your price per square foot is. All right, our average sold, remember these are the last 30 days and we'll talk about the last year in just a hot minute. But average sold right now, uh, we're looking at about $505,806. All right, that's the average price of a home that's sold in Arizona. Our median, remember that's where you take Half to the top, half to the bottom, and you pick it right in the middle. The median is $390,000, okay? All right, average sold in the last 12 months. So again, we're still trending upwards, but average over the last 12 months was $435,523, and our median sold over the last 12, um, 12 months, $340,000. Appreciation rates. People are always interested in knowing what we're doing with appreciation. Appreciation over the last 12 months has been 18.1%, and in the last 30 days, we have seen 33% appreciation. So you guys, that's what's happening right now. Couple of different little nuances that I wanna bring about these numbers for you, is our active listings uh, starting the first day of June when we pulled these numbers, it was actually down by 77 units. So we started the month with 9,361. And that actually extends the 10 year low of starting activities for a six month. Now, here's what I do want you to know. So this is kind of just listen to the numbers really carefully. Our active single family re residences, so single family, not condos, not apartments, not mobile homes, that single families are actually up month over month. Okay. So this month we started with 3,610 single family residents. Now that's a 60% low from last year and it's actually seven down 74% from 2019. So yes, we are still low in inventory. Now back in May, what I want to tell you about back in May, in the whole month, in the month of May, we had 9,872 new units hit the market. All right. So what I want to tell you is historically, that number is exactly in line for our maids. 
Okay, so we're right in line with our 10 year average as far as how many houses hit the market in the month of May. We're totally normal as we have been for the last 10 years we were this year. And it's actually the seventh highest in the last 10 years, okay? So what I want you to understand is we have about normal inventory entering the marketplace right now. We've been talking for a long time, we've got low inventory for the amount of demand that we have. We've got low inventory for the amount of demand that we have. So I want to place a little bit more emphasis on the fact that it's low inventory for the demand that we have, okay? We have actually rather normal levels of inventory entering our market, but we have extraordinary levels of demand happening in our marketplace right now. And so that's really what is causing the supply and demand equation to swing over to prices going up and everything continuing to go up. The marketplace is, is going up. So it really, really, really is the amount of demand that is being placed on the marketplace right now that is causing our problem. Now, what's going to make demand dry up is the question. I don't know. People might decide that they don't want to move to Arizona anymore, or they might decide that Arizona needs a mass exodus. Um, interest rate, rates might get people out of the market. Affordability might start to get people out of the market. So all of these things are sort of things that we're watching right now to see, is our market going to slow down? Let me be very, very clear. It is not going to dry up and it's certainly not going to go in reverse at this stage of the game. But will we start to see things slow down? And when I talk about slow down, I'm meaning rather than competing against 30 other offers, maybe you're only competing against 15. That's the kind of slow down that I'm talking about, okay? All right, so speed of the market, like we talked about earlier, oh my goodness. Within 30 days, 67% of all available homes are under contract. And within 60 days, 91% of all available homes are under contract. Our market is moving at a frenzied, frenzied pace. All right, one last note that I want to leave you guys with, and this is especially important if you guys are buyers in the market right now, okay? If you are sellers in the market, you've got your own set of challenges. How do you sell? How do you move? How do you make it seamless? Where are you moving to? But if you're a buyer right now, I want you to be aware of this, all right? Everybody pay attention. This is important stuff. Across Maricopa County, 59% of all listings closed above list price, 59%, okay? Listings from the 250,000 to the 500,000 mark are the most competitive with 68% of those closing over list price with a median, now hear me, with a median of anywhere between 15,000 and 20,000 over ask price, all right? The max that we have seen in that price point is $145,000 over ask price. Now, just because I'm going to throw it out there, what, what do you think that that's doing to appraisals right now? Yeah, we're having some appraisal problems. We're having challenges with the houses appraising for what we're all agreeing we're willing to pay for it. So appraisal waivers are terribly, terribly common right now. You're gonna to need to have extra free cash in order to make up the difference between what we agreed that we would buy the house for and what it appraises for. We're gonna to need to have a lot of extra cash at our disposal right now. That is, the, that is the goal. So if you're thinking about entering into this marketplace and you're thinking you're coming in with zero down payment and you're gonna ask for seller concessions for your closing costs, you will not be competing in this market, all right? I say that with all the love in my heart, but you will not be in this market. Wait for another market. Save up money until you can compete in this market. This is definitely not the market for you to be playing in. If you are wanting to play in this market, that's what I'm gonna advise you to do. As much money available to you as you possibly can have to make up the gaps, to make sure you have a good solid down payment and to be well, well qualified for your loan. All right, you guys, that's what's happening in Arizona Marketplace right now. So if you have any questions, I would love, love, love to talk with you about them, answer any questions that you have. And I am here to be a resource for you with all of your real estate related questions. All right, so feel free to reach out to me. You can grab me on all social media or you can reach out to me directly. My cell phone number is 480-415-1341. All right, you guys, have a great day. We'll see you on our next monthly market update.